Today, I'm building a gym from trees. Timber! Let the build begin! Primitive mansion builds are some of the most satisfying videos on YouTube, which has led multiple creators to trying to build their own survival structures. However, one thing all their mansions are lacking is a gym. When there's no gym, I just build one and I find some lumberjacks to help me. You gotta look the part first. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. You, yeah don't I look the part? Too look, much clothing, I don't look man. the... What do you... Oh my god! <laughs> That's better. Now you're looking the part. Let's go! go! These are the buff dudes, Buff Hudson, Brandon, and Duke, their dad. When I was a kid, I used to chop wood with my dad. However, I have zero experience with chainsaws, and they do, so they seem like the perfect people to seek out for this job. Just remember what the first thing, now we already started it, so you may yep. not need the choke. I'll give it a couple pulls and see what happens. Okay. So I gotta firmly grasp it. Oh my God! Yeah. Let's go! First try! Now, exciting as it was to actually start the chainsaw without losing any of my limbs, Buff Duke informed me that I wouldn't be starting on any of the big trees, but rather... Oh! oh! You the word. Timber! Timber! <laughs> I did it! I did it! How'd I do? Uh, not bad. I think it was good. Now okay. Get the one. Let's go. Watch it because there's a thing called a Widowmaker. Okay. And that's if something comes loose, like a dead top of the tree oh. or a branch, a big branch, could be a small branch. And even with a hard hat, if it hits you, it'll kill you. This is so dangerous. However, there was no time to fear. I had some tree cutting to do and a gym to build. <laughs> First time ever cutting a tree down. And FYI, this is an invasive species of a tree that actually hurts the environment around. The government wants these to be taken down, so we're doing service to the world right now. We're watching the creation of a lumberjack before our very eyes. It makes me so proud. Now that my crash course was over, it was time to gather all the necessary materials. Hudson and Brandon were in charge of cutting the limbs off the trees, which are essentially branches in the way. Duke was in charge of cutting down the big tree, or the big Bertha, and I had the most important job of all. Okay, so I'm thinking that this one actually is like the most straight tree I've ever seen, and it's perfect girth for a barbell. So I'm gonna cut off all the limbs, chop this bad boy down. I'm gonna let the, the veterans, you know, do their thing. I'm only doing the little barbell, and it's exhausting. These guys are just ripping trees. I, I should probably help them. I'm gonna go help them. God, it's easy with you, man. Yeah, that's right. And this tree we found, we're gonna make the barbell weight. Excellent size for it. Let's go. Let's do it. It's always fun to watch. It never gets old, man. Let's go! Here we go, he's getting the wedge in. Yep, yep. Getting the wedge in. Sad part is we gotta drag most of it up there. Yes, I know. That's, That's the weird. worst part. <laughs> oh, man. Timber! Go! Oh my gosh! Let's go! Woo! How was it? Good. It was good. You know, I was, you know what I was missing? Very integral part of my safety equipment was my hard hat. And guess who's got it? But I figured he's a kid, he needs some <laughs> I I was a, a scared little boy on the hill, so that's why I have the hard hat. <laughs> Next time I'll give it to you. Growing up, I used to cut wood with my dad. So this is bringing me back to like my childhood. The good times of, well, I, back then I thought they were annoying chores. But looking back, I'm grateful that I had, was able to share those opportunities with my dad and those core memories. I'm dedicating this build to my father. He's the one that taught me to be relentless. He's the one that taught me to persevere and challenge myself. Dad, this is for you, I love you. So honestly, I just cut this branch off and it looks like it could be another barbell. So I'm gonna cut it right here and we're gonna chop it up, smooth it up, so that way we got another barbell. This is gonna be the greatest outdoor gym anyone's ever seen. And down there, Buff Dad is thinning the tree. He's gonna slice the tree up to make a bunch of barbell plates right now. So he's working on that, I'm working on this. The other guys, I have literally no idea where they went. Part of the uniqueness of an outdoor gym is the fact you have to hunt 
for the weights you will be using. Yep, so we're looking around for a big tree, mainly at the base, because we're gonna be using it for the plates. Jesse took down Big Bertha, now we're looking for Big Bertha's bigger sister. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen one. I gotta give Jesse a lot of credit. He jumped right into this. He's proving himself to be a very good timber faller. It's crazy that we're trying to do this in one day. We were gonna do it in two. We were like, screw it, we could do it in one. So hopefully our strong team can make it happen. Me and Brandon have been spotting for a tree that's gonna work for the weight plates. I think we found the perfect one. We got a lot of limbs to cut down now, so we're gonna get right to it. Drop the second big tree. Buff Dad's about to send her home, baby. Let's go! He's gonna send the tree in just a few moments. It's done! It's done! It's going! It's going! Timber! Oh my gosh! Great job. Oh, thank you. It's a thrill. It's always something you gotta keep in the moment. Kill it. gonna kill you if you're yeah, not careful. Yeah, yeah. They say timber falling at times is the most dangerous job, occupation really? you can have. Wow. We're so doing nice. basically the most dangerous gym in the world pretty much. Well, that too. Yeah, <laughs> this is crazy. It. All right, what's coming up? We have found the tree with the weight plates. As you can see, it's nice and thick. It stays thick for a long time, so it's gonna give us plenty of the plates we need to push up. Sounds like me on a Saturday night. I know, right? I was like, this is getting a little more um, nasty sounding by <laughs> a little, the Too many adjectives. <laughs> All right, we're gonna cut her down. We're gonna make some plates out of her. Let's go, baby. Yeah. This was the big one. We'd be using the tree to build both the deadlift plates and the dumbbells. Don't worry, guys. Uh, I'm helping out. Yeah. Buff Duke did his thing. Timber! Oh! We got the plates chopped up. This is real Big Bertha. Yeah, make some heavy plates, right? Yeah. You think I can lift them? I hope we can lift them still. They're gonna be really dense. We carry them up the hill. Oh my God! I think we don't even need to put a bar on this thing. You could just lift this for reps. Jesse, Jesse, yeah. Jesse, oh, man, Jesse, Jesse. This is probably 200 pounds. I'm not kidding. So how many, wait, how many did you guys carry up? I missed it. We've actually carried up zero. Yeah. <laughs> You're the only one that's I know, right? Up. Well, that but, seems odd. And just like that, we finished gathering all the materials we'd need to make our primitive gym. Honestly, I'm amazed on how much we got done despite this being my first time chopping down trees. Being this close to the action, you see what the potential dangers are. And once the final tree was cut down, Duke informed me that the dangers of timber falling hit very close to home. So when I was working on this, I was thinking of Dale. And Dale's your brother? Yes fell a tree uphill, it came back and hit him in the head. So I tell myself when I see a tree like this, I thought, oh my God, that's, I, that's the kind of thing that killed Dale. He kind of just stood by the stump. So and it so came down and got him in the head. You did? Yeah. He was just lackadaisical about it. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry no. for your loss. No, I, I appreciate that. Yeah. Yeah, I miss him a lot. This is suspenders in his uh, pad. Can you always wear that while, while you're doing timber? Yeah, when we do a video and stuff. Oh, okay. Hey, but we're doing it for Dale. For Dale. You know, for Dale. Yeah. Let's go, baby. Thanks, Jesse. Let's do it. Let's go. We officially have all of the building blocks for this entire primitive gym. And ladies and gentlemen, the fun part begins now. Let's go and build this primitive gym. First thing we're gonna do with absolutely no supervision, everyone else is finishing the plates and the dumbbells. I'd like to surprise the guys when they get back and they're like, oh my God, you finished half the gym. That'd be really cool. The yeah. holes for the pull-up bar are dug. I'm gonna toss this bad boy in. Let's go. Let's go. This one I dug way too wide. Final piece to the pull-up bar. No way, no way. We'll test it all at the end. For now, 
The pull-up bar is done. While I had been working on the pull-up bar, Duke was turning some of the log pieces into an entire dumbbell. He says to cut around the rest, and then we'll literally have a dumbbell. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have the final dumbbell. <laughs> I'm gonna bring it up to the gym. Buff Dad's gonna keep making more dumbbells, so we got a whole rack, because as we know, I'm a big fan of some nice rack. Little snacky poo break. I got myself some hurt zero fat uh, candy. Yeah, it's just straight sugar, guys. That's okay. Solid, baby! We're working on the primitive version of a cable machine because every gym has to have some kind of cable machine. Our version is a little different. It's very basic. We're using rope. We're using logs. What we're doing is we're pulling the rope through so you can determine how much weight you're using. Kind of looks like guillotine. Yeah. It does. So far, all the machines that we have built were for back, so we had to pivot our focus and get started on the bench press and the dip bars. Okay, this tree we just cut down is gonna be a slab that's gonna make the bench part of the bench press. So the game plan here is to take this slab, put it on top of here, and it's gonna go through these two, and that's the rack. So we unrack it, bench press, re-rack. Insane. We were so close to finishing the gym with only a few hours left of sunlight to get this done in time. Yo, I got the dip bars in, boys. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's what we're talking that's about. Crazy. Nice. We were finally on the home stretch of building the primitive gym. Brandon worked on the squat rack. Hudson provided the finishing touches on the machines. Duke started shaping the plates that we'd be using. Dude, that's so cool. And I built a full dumbbell rack. We were working relentlessly trying to get this gym complete before sundown. After 15 hours of nonstop work, going from learning how to use a chainsaw to constructing working gym equipment, we had done it. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the relentless Buff Dudes Primitive Gym. It's time to put the gym to the test. We built the coolest outdoor gym, probably the only outdoor gym like this, made out of wood. But does it work? I am going to be the guinea pig, and I'm going to need spots. Okay. One, two, three. You got it? Yep. yep. Here we go. There we go. There we go. Oh my god, this is like 275, 290. Woo! Holy crap. Eight, nine, <laughs> ten. Come on, 11, 12. This is literally so light for him. The world's no. heaviest tree bench press. One, two, three, lift up. up. Oh, you. We're here yeah, for yeah, you. Yeah, We're yeah, here, here for we you. Come on, come on. Come on, up, 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 up. I'm gonna be real with you guys. Today was one of the most fun experiences of my life. Let's go! Yeah. Yeah. I think in this day and age where we're so reliant on technology and looking for the most convenient way to do things, being able to step into nature and work with your hands slows everything down. Stand with you, we stand with you, let's go! You got it, you oh. got it? Yes! Yes! yes. Oh. There we go, oh. two reps, let's oh go! Let's go! Oh. go. I am so grateful that I got to do this with the buff dudes and see their work ethic and teamwork in real life. I would always say, do you practice safe sets? But this is most definitely not safe sets. I mean, we literally turned a bunch of trees into a working gym. Oh, what? No way! Oh, oh my God. Damn! Got it, man. Let's go! Ooh, Ooh that dismount. They're also some of the kindest people that I've worked with and took me under their wing and made me feel like I was a part of their family. Oh my God. Oh my God. And he's up! He's up! I'm just that yeah. strong! Yeah. I'm just that strong! Woo. I can even do two! Yeah. <laughs> Make sure to subscribe to their channel and see us compete head-to-head -head in a primitive fitness challenge. You don't want to miss that. Come on! Oh. Yeah. 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 I think if I can offer any final words, it'd be to try something new, get out in nature, and of course, stay relentless! Peace!